Hello friends. Welcome to my YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In previous video of this series, I have shown how to convert simple code to obfuscated code. In this video, I will show you other obfuscation techniques and I will to obfuscate this obfuscated code. I don't understand what's going on here. So, as shown here, this is the code of C language in which you cannot find any semicolon or curly bracket. Sounds interesting. First, let's check that it is working or not. Okay, this code compiles successfully and gives the output properly. At this moment, I will not provide any hint that what this program does, but at the end I will tell you. Try to obfuscate this code on your own. To obfuscate this code, I have used three basic techniques of C language. I will obfuscate this code step by step and show you the techniques that I have used. In the first sentence, I have used hash include techniques. I have already made a video about it, links provided in the description. Here, I will briefly explain this step here. Basically, it is used to import the text from the text file to our program. The syntax is as shown here. Here, as you can see oop.txt is the file name. I have stored this text file at the same location of the C file. It will extract all text from the oop text file to our program. So, instead of include this text file we can copy the content of the text file and paste in our C file. Let's see what text contains this text file. Here, it contains inclusion of the header file, lots of macro definition and use of the type definition. Well, it's not necessary to include these many macro definitions, I have included it because I want to show you that you can use it in different way also. First of all we will see how these macro definition works. If you know the use of macro definition and type definition then you can skip this part. In the C programming language, the hash define directive allows the definition of macros within your source code. These macro definitions allow constant values to be declared for use throughout your code. Macro definitions are not variables and cannot be changed by your program code like variables. You generally use this syntax when creating constants that represent numbers, strings or expressions. In the syntax, C name is the name of the constant. Most C programmers define their constant names in uppercase, but it is not a requirement of the C language. The value is nothing but the value of the constant. Expression can be defined as the value that is assigned to the constant. Let's see an example. In this example, the constant called name contains the value of programming knowledge. Well, can use the text programming language by simply writing name instead of programming knowledge. Let's run it. Well, the most fascinating things about it is that you can replace some text pattern with different string like in this example I can replace printf function with p. Now, instead of writing printf, I can write only p. Let's check it. Isn't it amazing? Now, let's see the use of typedef. Typedef is a keyword used in C language to assign alternative names to existing data types. It's mostly used with user-defined data types, when names of the data types become slightly complicated to use in programs. Following is the general syntax for using typedef. Let's take an example and see how typedef actually works. In this program, I will define a term underscore for an integer data type. Now this underscore identifier can be used to define integer type variables. Well, I have used these three different techniques to obfuscate my program. By these three techniques, you can play with your source code and make it look more horrible. Most of the programmer uses these techniques to obfuscate the source code. Now, we will replace the alias name of the data type with their actual name. Let's replace 4 continuous underscore with integer data type and 5 continuous underscore with void. Now it looks somehow readable. We will do same things for macro definitions.
So, after replacing all macros we finally got a normal program. This program gives the output as a power of a number. There are lots of other techniques to obfuscate the code. If you know any other technique then comment below. Let's run it. For that I will open Turbo C screen. So, that's it. You can download code from GitHub link or you can check it on my blog site. If you have enjoyed this video then hit the like button. Otherwise dislike this video and comment below the reason why you have liked or disliked the video. Also, if you are new to this channel then hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon. I am uploading new videos every month. Also, the video, movies based on hacking got 20 likes, and as I have promised in that video, I will make another video about movies based on artificial intelligence. So, stay tuned. We will meet in the next video until then enjoy programming.